Hi everyone, this is Anil. In this video, we will see how to use Myth Server Credential Resolver to fetch basic authentication credentials from a file which is stored on Myth Server. As part of this video, we will uh, uh, see Flflow action uh, where we improve the setup, and also I'll talk about how the jar file is created and uh, also provide link to the Git repository which has the code. Let's get started. So first, we we'll log into Myth Service Now instance and uh, open the flow. So this is the flow action which is created called create incident uh, data credit risk global. So this uh, action has a rest step which performs a host operation on a target instance and it creates uh, incident with a short description and description with these values. Let's first test this. We'll run this in the background. So while that is running, we look at the connection alias. This is my connection alias. So if you look at the, if you see the connection alias, it has uh, a name and then there are connections details. So if we go to the connection details, it has the URL, the target connection URL, which basically is pointing to the incident table. And then it is using a myth server to make the connection. This is very critical because we want myth server to be able to resolve the connection. So we resolve the credentials, which is why we have to use a myth server. And then if you look at the connection itself, uh, sorry, if you look at the credential itself, which is uh, this one here, it has something called as external credential store checked. Now this checkbox appears only if you have the, the required plugin installed. The plugin information is provided in the uh, GitHub uh, repository readme file, so which I'll, for which I'll give the link in the description. And then there's a credential ID, which will help us uniquely identify this credential in the credential file. And then credential storage vault will tell myth server which uh, jar file to use when resolving the credential. Now let's go into myth server and see the details there. So there is a folder called external lib, external library in the agent folder, which contains a jar file. The name of the jar file is credres.jar. This will exactly match what you have here. Cred lib, what you have in the credential storage vault. Now, in order to upload that jar file to mid server, we'll go to mid server jars and you have to create a uh, entry here where you will upload the uh, jar file, uh, where you will attach the jar file and then it automatically gets sent to all the mid servers. So that's how this jar file got here. Now, the property, there's a property file which actually stores the credentials. So it has a the credential entry has two records, one is username and one is password. So if you see here, the, the username is stored in this variable and password is here. Now this text USER and PSWD are, are predefined, which means you cannot change it. It has to be exactly same uh, to store username and password. Now my dev maps to the credential ID of the uh, credential record. So which is this one here. So whatever is mentioned in credential ID here, this has to match to this text here. And basic underscore auth matches the type of credential. So if you look at the, the URL of this uh, basic authentication credential, you'll see that it has basic underscore auth underscore credentials. So whatever is this text here, this has to match the type here, right, which is this one here. Now if it's a Windows credential, then it has to be Windows, okay, so on and so forth. So that's how we set up the credential uh, file, which actually has the credentials. And then we have seen how the jar file gets loaded here on the mid server. Now let's uh, see the execution. So we just executed this. Let's look at the execution details. Okay, let's go to executions. And we'll also try to log into the target instance to see the, the incident creation. Now, if you see here, this is the execution which we triggered three minutes back. Let's open that. And we'll uh, open the steps to see the details of the execution. So we can see there's a status code of 201, which means uh, incident is created in target instance. And if you see the number, it says 10006. Now let's go to target instance and open incidents. So here, there should be a new incident, which should match that number. So it is 10006. 
and if this is a create timestamp it is four minutes cycle and let's open this the short description and description is what we have passed so they should match from what we have in the flow in the source instance so if you go here this is what we have configured in the action in the request body so it matches that information so this proves that the integration is working and it is able to create an instant uh, create an incident in target instance and we have seen the the connection alias uh, the connection it's the connection details and the credential details all of that right and we also have seen uh, what is set up in the mid server right now in order to understand what is part of this jar file there is a github repository uh, which has all that information so this is the java java file which has the, all the setup as you can see here it is pointing to this dummy credentials dot properties so this is the it is looking at this file path to read the credentials and here we have argument type uh, arg underscore type for type arg underscore uh, id for id so these are the two one two fields which are being used and then for val user it is user val password it is pswd all of that and then here we are actually translating all of that uh, and passing it back to service now in this result period and if i go back here and if you look at the readme file you will see that uh, it has all the instructions in terms of how to uh, install the plugin how to add the files and what is the content of the credential is on the properties file uh, and all of that is mentioned here so yeah you're free to download this uh, java file and then uh, use it in your setup so that completes the scope of this video. Thank you for watching. This is Anil.